Hi there, let's make this environment in 4 minutes with Unreal Engine 5 and Graphen, a workflow automation software. First, I'll go to polygonflow.io and download Graphen. You can find a fully featured and completely free non-commercial version and a really affordable personal and studio license. I'll hit download, then install the software. Make sure to install Graphen's integration in UE5, but you could also follow this tutorial if you're on UE4.27 or any Autodesk Maya version from 2018 to 2022. Before we proceed, make sure that Unreal Engine 5 is closed. With the installation done, let's start Unreal Engine 5, and I've got this project with a couple of fairly simple objects. There's a Graphen logo on the toolbar, and when I click on that, a panel full of tools will show up. For this tutorial, we'll only use one of them, Ecotope. Let's jump ahead and give Ecotope what it needs and it'll show us what it does. Ecotope first needs some objects you want to scatter, which we'll select in the content browser, then hit the add icon on the scatter objects property. Next, I'll do the same for the surface objects property, but this time I'll select my surface from the viewport. As soon as I add it, Ecotope will fill this empty scene with vegetation and from here on, we're gonna have a blast. First, I'll tweak my density to get the right amount. Next, I'll open the masking group and increase the angle threshold, which will remove any vegetation we have at certain angles. I'll go ahead and add some small frequency noise to break up our distribution, then play with the different sliders until I get the look that I have in mind. I'll go to create and add an empty actor in my scene, then I'll add a spline to it, which will allow me to draw a curve or a path in this environment. I can select the latest point on a spline, then hold Alt and start dragging it around the environment, then do it again until I'm happy with the result. Back to Ecotope, I'll select the spline, then hit Add on the path property. And now we've got ourselves a beautiful path. I can easily adjust its width, but my absolute favorite feature of Ecotope is gradient scale, which as you can see, scales down the plants that are close to the path, and you can easily adjust the minimum and maximum size allowed in the base property group. And in the masking group, we also have an edge noise property that allows us to break up the details around the edges. Now I could go on forever by tweaking all these options, but let's move on, shall we? I have these objects right here and would love to scatter some flowers around them. How do I do that? Well, by clicking on the plus button right here, which essentially create another layer for us to work with. First, I'll open Quixel Bridge, download some flowers and add them to the scatter objects property. And instead of manually adding our surface objects again, I'll go back to the first layer, right click on surface objects, then hit link property. With this, our surface objects are now shared with every other layer and you can right click and unlink them just as easily. Our flowers are now all over the place though, so let's select the objects we want to scatter them close to, then add them to the proximity objects property. And from here on, we can play with the proximity width, break it up a bit with some medium frequency noise, and so on and so on. I think that's it. So let's take a well-deserved break and organize things up a bit. I'll double click on the name of each layer and give them an appropriate name. I also went ahead and made two other layers, and the only thing noteworthy about them is the pebbles one. The final step in this project is organizing our common properties into a collection. How do we do that? By right clicking on them and hitting add to collection. And if we go to the collection tab, our properties will be sitting right there and we can double click and rename them as well. Before we close this video, let's have some story time. Ecotope was built with tons of feedback from the best environment artists and studios out there. And it was done without writing a single line of code. 
If you recall, we've opened Ecotalk through the Graphon library, which features a bunch of tools that make word building a blessing to deal with. But the magic behind it all isn't the library, but the Graphon, a visual coding software that you also have access to completely for free. The graph you're looking at now is Ecotalk, and while it's quite messy, it's kind of similar to how other teams like the Guerrilla Games Horizon or 343's Halo Infinite have built their own world building tools. And just like them, we only show the parameters that artists are looking for, but for the first time, you get to use the best tools in the industry completely for free. For the tech artists and programmers out there, we'll be steadily cleaning up our code base to give you an amazing API to work with. Graphen isn't just full of multi-threaded custom nodes and incredibly fast arrays, it also makes even the simplest of tasks incredibly fast. Doing something as basic as querying vertex positions or vertex colors is 20 to 500 times faster than how you do it in Autodesk Maya for example, and that's just one simple operation. By the way, Graphen's already installed on your computer. You can check out the presets that ship with Graphen, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for some upcoming tutorials on how to make the most of Graphen. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.